So we are looking at the mechanism of heat transfer by conduction. Consider an iron rod placed in a flame. In a short time, the other end of the rod also becomes heated. The explanation is that the conduction by the iron rod can be explained by collision between atoms or molecules and the action of loosely bound electrons. When the molecules near the source of heat take some heat, their internal energy increases. This increases their kinetic energy, and as a result, they vibrate more violently. Each molecule transfers some of its kinetic energy to its neighboring molecule during collision, making them also vibrate faster. These neighboring molecules also transfer kinetic energy to the next neighboring molecules. Thus, heat energy is transferred from one end of the material. The molecules themselves do not move from one region of the material to another, but their energy does. Heat transfer occurs only between regions that are at different and the direction of heat flow is always from higher to lower temperatures. The atoms in a substance are always vibrating. When heat is applied to a substance, the heat energy is given to the atoms and they vibrate and move faster and so their kinetic energy increases. The vibrating atoms bump into each other, that is the neighboring atoms, and pass on their kinetic energy. These atoms then pass their kinetic energy to atoms closer to them, and so on. In this way, the heat energy moves through the substance. Conduction takes place in solids, liquids, and gases, but works best in solids as their atoms or molecules are located closer together. Metals are the best solids for conducting heat. Metals have tightly packed atoms which can easily pass on their kinetic energy and also have free moving electrons. These electrons can move from the hot part of the metal to the cold part, transferring the heat energy to the cold part more quickly.